Good morning, you guys. We made it to Vancouver Island. First night last night was at this Costco. There was a few motorhomes parked behind, well, there was a motorhome parked behind me. There's a few vans and motorhomes in the parking lot on this area, which made me feel safe. Also, my boy Shane said that it was okay to stay here last night. It's pretty comfy. Gotta say, I'm still beat. I'm so tired. Oh my god. Ooh, so I'm gonna do the Canadian thing and go for it to Morton's. Let's go check it out. I think I have really no plan. So I'm gonna just go to Tim Hortons, grab a coffee, maybe do some editing first, message a few people, see who's in the area. And I see a garbage can right in front of me. So that means I'm gonna get rid of some garbage. I don't have much, just a little bit of this, and coffee cups. So I'll go drop that stuff off and go for a coffee. It's actually, it's chilly this morning. Instantly, as soon as I woke up, I threw in a hoodie, so. But it's only supposed to be for a day or so. Um, I've seen the weather forecast that it's supposed to warm up. Very happy for that. Then we can maybe look around more on this island. Sounds fun. First things first, let's get rid of some garbage. Okay, let's go get a coffee.
I know it was an SUV, there's an SUV in front of me, but it has a Playboy Bunny sticker on it, so I'm not sure. I can judge. I gotta pay this voice plate. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to hang out here. I really need to check my power steering fluid, so I'll do that while I wait for him and uh, see if he shows up. Didn't take long at all. Apparently you can see me. <laughs> there he is. I'm gonna check my power steering and then we'll meet up. Oh girl, you're dry. Time to top up. I've been just kind of refilling this thing. I have a power steering leak. It's a slow one, but it's definitely a leak. Uh, so I try not to turn too much tightly. And it's been okay, you know. Uh, probably only gone through one bottle on this whole trip. But it's definitely something I'm gonna be looking at fixing now that I'm here. And we can relax a bit. Once I can find some work and afford a new pump or line or whatever it needs, we will get to it then. Sorry for the camera angle. You're just sitting on my hood. All right, I'm gonna put this away and wait for Shane. <laughs> That's him right there, him and his big puppers. Okay. And that's just an example of how bad my memory is because I thought Shane's SUV was white. It's totally the opposite color and it's black. So, sorry buddy. <laughs> Kinda had a feeling that you didn't have the Hello Kitty sticker on the back though. <laughs> oh, okay. First person meet up on Vancouver Island. And like I mentioned in my last video, this is the first time that I've really felt alone. You know, no one around me that I know really. Um, being on my own adventuring and traveling. It's a different feeling. I know it, you know, I've, I've kind of been living my van life for a while now by myself. But having so many people, like a community around me, didn't really feel like I was alone, if that makes any sense. So now that I am on the island, getting a few connections and meeting up with a few people I think is beneficial for me. I don't know if I don't like being alone or if I like being alone yet. So just gonna grab some connections, meet up with a few people, and then once I can get the lay of the land in a way, I can kind of adventure on my own and um, feel out what it's like to truly be alone, you know? And then we will definitely have a meetup. I think I'm gonna try and have a live stream some at some point throughout the day if the weather can hold off. Hold off. If not, I'll just have a, a live stream from inside the van. But regardless, it's a totally different feeling for me. Even though I've been living in vehicles for years, this is still a new feeling for me. So don't think that anybody's alone when they get into their vehicles and uh, feel alone. I've been doing this for years and even now I feel that way so all right let's go see Shane. How are you guys? After meeting up with Shane and hanging out for a bit uh, he suggested that maybe we'll go check out uh, where Lauren and hopefully we'll see Jeffy Bear there as well. So Let's go see the boys. I've never met Lauren. And it's been a long time since I've seen Jeffy Bear. So this should be pretty exciting. I'm super excited to meet the guys, you know. I still have that feeling myself, even though I make videos myself. Um, of like when you've been watching someone for so long and you finally get to meet them, that excitement, I still feel that. Uh, it's so cool. I know a few people like have gotten that excited when they met me, which is very strange to be on the opposite side of that. But just know I feel the same way. Like when I first met Chrome, I was like, man, I've been watching this guy for years, 
right? So when I finally met him, I even mentioned to him, like, dude, my hand's shaking, just trying to shake his hand and say hi. <laughs> There's a weird feeling that we get from this YouTube weird video thing that we do. But any excitement that we can get in our lives, hey man, I'm all about it, you know? It's super cool that uh, such a, that this platform, you know, kind of brings us all together. Shane met me through watching my channel, and I'm about to meet these guys. It's a small world, it's a big, small world, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, it feels really cool that we get to be able to do this. So, um, yeah. his embo <laughs> let's go meet the guys you guys ain't here right now which is fine uh, probably out doing some things so me and Shannon are just gonna go check out the falls real quick he mentioned that there was a waterfall around the area so go check that out while we wait and uh, see if we can't meet up with the guys a little later on it's a little bit rainy today but Shane was mentioning and I've seen on the weather forecast as well that from here on, like after today or tomorrow, it's really supposed to warm up. So I'm looking forward to that and seeing the island in the light. Right now, well, anything kind of looks kind of dim with this type of weather. But to see it when the sun is out, I feel like it brings a whole different feeling to an area. So I think we're just gonna hang out at the falls, probably give me a chance to do some editing and um, maybe even tomorrow we can adventure around a little more. Meet up with the guys possibly and uh, we'll just take it from there. But I'm excited to go see this falls. And I hope you guys are too. From what I've seen on the pictures, it looks pretty nice. I love seeing all these little farmhouses and stuff. So much beautiful land around here. Alright. Wait till we get down for
that beautiful. She came to the Sunshine Coast with me, and from there we separated. Oh. Yeah, I think she's gonna meet me again in Nanaimo in probably a few days or whatnot. But yeah, yeah. And I gotta bring her to Campbell River, and uh -huh. then I gotta bring her from Nanaimo to Campbell River, and then from there we're not too sure. She leaves back to Germany in September, so. Oh, she did travel with you? Yeah, she was because uh, we met in Drumheller, and then her car broke down. So I was like, oh. well, I'll just I'll give you a ride. So it worked, worked out for both of us in a way. Got me out here. <laughs> Helped get me out here. Kind of oh, yeah, mo motivated I'm the trip for sure. Well, whatever you gotta do, I mean, yeah. I got no roof apart. Yeah. That's a good thing. I know, I, I just as I removed my passenger seat, I ended up picking up a passenger. So, <laughs> uh, my friend Ben, he was getting rid of his passenger seat at the same time. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I'll take it. <laughs> What are they all doing in uh, Calgary though? Nothing. Nothing. Just sitting around doing the same old. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, you know, that's just, yeah, that's pretty much. I think we all did that at one time. I, I left every day to go back to the same place. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, yeah. We had a guy over there that uh, dead now. But he liked it. He used to come by up here or something. Hey, boys, it's 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock. Time to go get yeah. there. He's just polite. He never gave you a bit. But now he can do what he wants. Yeah. That's what's going to get defended. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's the thing about van life. I don't think a lot of people realize is that we do end up sitting a lot in certain spots for long periods of time like yeah, yeah. even if we move through the daily like even in calgary we go no not at all like in calgary i used to go from the street to the parking lot to the parking lot to the street and just keep kind of keep going back and forth right keep yeah. moving a little bit as we can but, but you try to make yourself a loop. yeah yeah go here go there like i mean one of the places i told you up to the campbell river that's all that, that's my loop right yeah. Yeah. Every time we start these V8s, it costs. So. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's the thing. We can just go down all the way. Yeah. Turn around and go back. Yeah. That's why I say I spent a lot of money fucking. You know, I even went to Shemina's. That's past. You haven't been down there yet. No, no. Well, Shemina's is nice. Yeah. Nice little town. Besides, I remember the flat spot. I parked there. I 
right, right. But other than that, yeah, it's a little town. I need to stop keeping it. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. I know, yeah. Every time I see Chrome fly that drone, I'm like, man, it would be so nice to have one of those. Like a live live map. It would be like having a live map with you all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm basically there. Huh? I'm basically there now. I'm going to try and look for as much work as I can on the island. <laughs> yeah, my budget was blown just getting here. <laughs> But I was looking up a couple of temp agencies even in uh, Victoria, so if it comes down to it, I can just hit up one of those. I've seen a couple of, I don't know if that's what you want to do. Uh, I'm not trying to doubt it, but there's some stuff going on in the Hamilton. Uh, there's yeah. Might just be a part time, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I've got to be happy, but you know, it is usually. A buddy I did, well, not a buddy, I just met him. And uh, he just got a spot in Port Alberni. Nice, yeah. yeah. I know even when I was leaving the Sunshine Coast, the last Tim Hortons before I hit the boat, it said help want it, and I was like, ah, should I apply? <laughs> yeah, yeah. got to do what we got to do in ways. Yeah, you yeah. don't want to be miserable working for Timmy. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, if that's all you can do, we'll just get some money. Yeah, so whatever we got to do well, to keep it going. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's it, that's it. I just be up front with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of like a lot of companies I know in the city were yeah. feeling like that. Yeah. That's the thing. Exactly. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Just enough to live on, even. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what a lot of people do. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, video. Yeah, they it. Make a lot of money, but it, makes it definitely helps, for sure. Yeah. Huh? It definitely helps, like, same with myself, not making a lot, but it helps. Yeah. Well, yeah. I average it. I haven't made as much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it. It goes fast. Like, I, I'm averaging right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm averaging right now, like, three, four hundred bucks from YouTube a month. Yeah, three, four, yeah. Yeah. I had a bad one last month for sweet something. Yeah, yeah. But some other one went five, six, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely not steady, but it kind of. But everybody else sees us on YouTube and they're like, you're rich. And it's <laughs> like, no, we're far from rich. Yeah. Well, you yeah. got people think you got that thing on YouTube. You have lots of money. Yeah, yeah. I have one guy in Calgary who used to call me the million dollar man. I'm like, dude, I'm a hundred dollar man, if anything. Yeah. I know people who go, you're famous, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. 
lot of people know me, or few people, but yeah, other than that, I'm okay. That's it, we're just normal guys. That's it. You know. I know I found it a little easier to do stationary videos. Than yeah. I found it easier to do stationary videos in one spot than what it is to do videos on the road. You just get a chance oh, to stop them more. I have a phone. I saved and saved to keep it over there. I have a phone. I saved and saved to keep it over there. Yeah. I know, I get that so much on mine too. I lose my mic every second day, okay? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I've even told a few people like, "Have you tried headphones?" <laughs> you know, like because I edit with headphones and I can hear everything fine. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Uh, uh, but it's a constant battle with the video stuff, man. Oh, yeah, definitely a learning curve for sure. Did you go take a walk to the falls? Yeah, yeah I went to for a little walk to the falls. That was I can't nice. Do this. This one doesn't... Yeah, there's a lot of stairs. Huh? There's a lot of stairs on this yeah, one. Well, this yeah, well, I get to a certain point that went down to where the fence is, but then there's roots and rocks. I can't get by there. Yeah. Then I went to Englishman Falls, and uh, that I can go. You start out from the parking lot. You go right that, I can get to the falls. Go as far as I can go, that's it. Yeah, yeah. How's that thing on batteries? Yeah, your chair. Oh. That's okay? If I don't drive it every day out there, or it'll, it'll, it'll drain in about a day and a half, two days. Okay. And I just, I'm trying to figure a way to, well, I know how to do it. I'm just trying to figure a way how to charge it. Because I see I have to go in the back, hit the inverter. Right. And then while I'm driving, the, AC, the D, DC to DC will charge the inverter. Which will charge my chair so I don't lose any power. Right. So, and then, like, if I'm driving, but I'm not driving yet. So I just do it at night before. Right. Every time, I, every time I get up for a piss, I look at the battery thing, and the light's right there, and I can see it. If it's not together, I just go back to bed, and when I wake up, as soon as I see it, I unplug it. For now. Yeah. That's amazing. I never really been stuck. You seem to be handling it pretty well, though. Huh? You seem to be handling it pretty well. Yeah. Well, everybody I know is up here, so a lot yeah. of people are here, you know, where to go, where to be, but that's the way they build them. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, three, 
even old cars back in the day. Like I seen that Chevy Caprice that was ran on propane. The whole trunk was a giant propane tank. Yeah. And I'm like, you're worried about my little tanks? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Oh, but it's true. I mean, people, people just assume they don't really know. Yeah, and they overthink it, and, huh? and they overthink it, and. Wave 5 or Wave 6. Mm -hmm. That worked good, but they wouldn't sell them to you in Canada. You've got to buy them in the States. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're, they're illegal. Oh, really? Well, they're illegal for a few reasons. If you have them hooked, like I told the guy, I have them hooked up with, uh, he said, no, no, before we do a safety on your propane tank, you got to remove that. Oh. That's not legal. That was a great little visit with Jeffy Bear. I'm going to be doing some editing, like I mentioned. He's got to run off to grab a few things. And then we're both going to be meeting back up with Lauren a little later on. So, let's see if I can get these videos done. And then head over there to go meet up with those guys. So cool to see Jeffy Bear again, man. I'm glad to see him in great spirits. But him as well, he wants to get off this island and go adventure a bit more. Like you mentioned, you can only go back and forth on an island so many times before you've been there done that and seen it so i'm looking to take my time on my adventures and not kind of rush through it too much and you know trying to enjoy an adventure as much as i can before i as well get tired of it and want to leave so and i want to show you guys all as much of this island as i can I know Chrome does an amazing job of showing all of the adventurous spots in this island, but I would like you guys to see it through my eyes, you know? Anyway, back to editing. And did I ever make a boo-boo? I'm here cleaning up because, uh, I don't know if you guys seen in this video, the last video, I can't remember where I'm to, but while I was waiting on the ferry to come to Vancouver Island, I did some organization in here. I removed the seat, I switched out where my fridge position was. And when I did that, I forgot to turn it back on. So, look at this. The thing that Yana left me to actually eat has gotten warm. <laughs> so I had to pull everything out of my fridge here and give it a quick cleanup and then, ah, uh, now I gotta put everything back in and hope that it's still okay. So the veggies seem kind of okay, I think, I'm hoping. But the one thing I'm not willing to trust if it is okay, is gonna be the eggs. So I think what I'm gonna have to do right now while, that, while one of my videos convert, is eat like a carton of eggs. I think that's the only way to do it. The blueberries, I think, will be okay. Cool them off again. The yogurt, uh, I don't know. And the carrots should be fine, I think. Um, pop, definitely gonna be okay. And the cheese is gonna be okay, I think. I'm probably gonna use some of this for the eggs. But yeah, big boo-boo on my part, man, definitely. Yana got me some probiotics because she knows of my stomach issue. Thank you for that. I hope those are okay as well. But yeah. What a dummy. So. Nothing smells horrible in there, thankfully. Um, I used up all my milk at the ferry terminal when I had that bowl of cereal waiting on the boat. That, I think, would have been the most stinky part of the whole situation glad I got that out which reminds me I need to clean my bowl still not very good an adult but anyway I'm going to cook up some eggs while the rest of my video converts I'm actually watching a video right now as well good old booster boys getting the MR2 back together awesome but yeah I'm going to Maybe I should boil them. 
maybe I should boil them. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see. Yeah. I did notice that Shane pulled up right next to me, so I must be getting around that time to go see Lauren and the guys as well and catch back up with Jeffy Bear. So that's going to be really cool. I'll see how much time I have. If I have enough time, I'll cook something. If not, I'll do it afterwards. Oh, man. Idiot. All right, you guys. I just realized that when Yana moved into my van for that bit of time, she had a frying pan, and I threw mine. So I'm stuck with a pot. So I guess we're boiling a bunch of eggs. But I also realized that, yes, it's raining, and... Um, probably is a it well it is about time that we head over to see Lauren and Jeffy Bear and the guys so we're gonna do that first before I cook anything and I was curious on how to tell if an egg has been has gone bad or not and I don't know why every time I think about stuff like just why don't I know these things or something simple I always hear chrome in the back of my head going dude google it <laughs> So that's what I'll do before I boil these eggs, is I'll Google if I know they float or sink if they're bad or something like that. So we'll do that before. Oh, and I just broke one. Great. Awesome. More geniusness. Uh, great. But yeah, um, we will deal with that later. Why is that working? Anyway. We'll deal with that later, and uh, we'll go to see the guys first, and after that, two, four, six, eight, I got eight eggs to boil, if they're good. I hope they're good, there's a lot of eggs. Probably throw out those ones that just broke. Yeah, I broke two. I don't know if they're better in the garbage can, or... Uh. Put them in the empty. Uh, I'm gonna put them in the empty uh, container I got here. Yeah. Ryan. Ryan. Idiot. I know a lot of you guys in the comments are probably laughing right now, and you know what? It's okay. I'd be laughing at myself too if I was watching this. And I knew how to tell if an egg was good or bad. Now, yeah. let's hope they stay put for the trip. I don't need any more broken eggs, man. Okay, let's go see the guys. Hey, Pookie. Ready to head over? Okay. I did a bunch of reorganization, like pulling the seat out and a bunch of other things into the van at the ferry. I got to turn my fridge back on. So I got like a carton of eggs deep <laughs> Uh Not too much really, I don't have any plans. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do then. I'll head down towards Nanaimo again tonight. And then, uh, yeah, once I head back up here, I'll give you a message. I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah. But either way, this game's huh? Oh, yeah. I didn't even get a chance to put Fair Link up yet. I'm only just finishing up editing that video. And we're back to check. I was like, maybe I'll grab something to eat. Looked at the fridge. I was like, why isn't this on? Thankfully, I didn't have no meat or nothing in there, but... That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to Google it and see if they... Yeah, and even in the fridge, it was kind of chilly, so... Yeah, I'm going to try and Google it. Because I know they float or they sink one or the other. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to Google it first. <laughs> oh, me too, man. Let's do it. All righty. Let's go. Let's go. 
see the boys. So yeah, as you can kind of tell through our little conversations, I don't have a bloody clue what I'm doing here. You know, I'm just here adventuring, enjoying my time, kind of taking some time to myself, recording like away. Um, but yeah, I'm just totally here, just kind of trying to shake the vibe that I mentioned in my last video. I just finished editing that one up. I'm trying to shake that vibe of like why I'm so tense and nervous about being on an island. You know, I think growing up on an island really hit me in that way where like every time I go to an island now, I feel like that. I've often called Newfoundland my Alcatraz because that's just how it made me feel, you know? Uh, I have no intentions or wants or anything to ever go back to Newfoundland. But maybe that's wise. I don't want, and I also don't want that feeling to affect me going to other places like, you know, Vancouver Island. In a way, I've always wanted to come here. The Sunshine Coast was beautiful, even though it's not an island, but it is an island. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I didn't want to have that feeling in such a beautiful place, you know? It's, it took a long drive to get here. I want to enjoy it. And I know a lot of you guys want to see more adventures from these areas. And I'm excited to show you all. I can't be feeling tense in those moments, you know? Um, I don't want to feel tense in those moments. And I'm really hoping that I can shake it. I think just the amount of time that I've spent by myself already has definitely done an improvement on myself. And uh, me and Yana will be meeting up, you know, hopefully sometime soon on Vancouver Island. I actually might be picking her up from the ferry when she comes in. Um, but yeah, I, um, I need to do some work on me, if that makes any sense, you know? I look forward to, you know, hopefully leaving here a different person, you know? I, <laughs> I don't want to become, like, total zen yogi, dude. Which is, would, would it be, hey, no, all the power to those guys. I just never felt like I was that type of person. But I do want to feel a lot more relaxed than I have in the past. You know, I think being in the city for so long has made me really tense and have to watch everything all the time. Uh, looking after everybody at different city, being kind of the security for the vehicle dwellers, kind of made me tense as well. Even still, I'm only sleeping like, you know, three, four hours before I get up. Even if it's for an hour, I'll get up, go back to sleep. And that's just how I've been for years now. I want to try and shake that and be able to actually relax, you know? Um, and along with relaxing, enjoy the time that I'm somewhere, wherever I am. So, I hope you guys can all understand that. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. And if you guys have any suggestions on a place that you think you'd like to see on Vancouver Island, granted, within a certain area. I'll be within Nanaimo and, uh, what is it, the other place? Campbell's River, I think, something like that. Um, I'll be within those areas for the next little while. If you guys have any suggestions on places you'd like to see around those areas, definitely drop it in the comments and I'll see if I can get there and uh, show you guys what I can see of those areas. Also, I've been thinking about just kind of jumping back into Chrome's videos and seeing the spots that he's seen around here and maybe checking those out myself in real time. I don't know. I'm just open for suggestions on where to go and what to see. So, Also, if any of you have any kind of temporary work around Vancouver Island, like I said, within those range of areas, definitely be sure to reach out. Uh, I'll leave my email below. It's vanlifebruce, I think it is, at hotmail.com. I'm open to emails. Now, I can't do everything, and I can't do, I don't know, I'll, I'll do what I can, you know. I definitely need some sort of work and some sort of funds. This van, it's a good thing I don't drink, man, I swear, because this van drinks enough for the both of us. But yeah, uh, breaking all my eggs don't help. Anyway, with that being said, we're gonna go meet up with Lauren and the guys, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Yeah. Let's go. We just 
gotta go hard. Uh. I go the hardest. I bring the pain. Not what she used to. It's all part of the game. Yeah, I just gotta go hard. Uh. I just gotta go hard. Go hard. Go hard. Yeah. Oh yeah, the beast back, adrenaline pumping through my veins, can't relax, original, I am not the same as these cats, I sting them in the... Alright, you good, it's right here, I'll turn down them speakers, boom boom, it's a respect thing, not everybody wants to hear it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna park right here, go finally meet, man, the legend. I'm sure you guys have seen that van in a few videos before. Man, the myth, the legend. Lauren! <laughs> so cool, you guys. Um, getting to meet up with Lauren for the first time, hanging out with Jeffy Bear for a bit, getting to see Shane. That was awesome. That was a really good day. Um, now I think I'm going to go back towards Nanaimo a little bit and um, cook up those eggs and see what else I could do for some supper because I'm absolutely starving. Oh. Definitely a good day, definitely a good day. Getting to see a little sneak peek of Chrome's shop was really cool. But he mentioned when he texted me a few days ago that when he comes back, he'd like to give me a little, like, kind of tour of the shop in his way. So I'm gonna hold off on showing anything to you guys until that time comes. Mainly out of respect, but also I think it'd be really cool to hear the shop and how it came together from him in a van tour from him so or er, in a shop tour from him you know so we'll see if we can make that happen see how busy the guy is when he gets back as you guys know he's a very busy guy so we will see how everything goes he's gonna be gone for quite a little bit of time still but I don't plan on going anywhere anytime really soon so that gives him all the time he needs to go adventure and have some fun and um, yeah, we'll link up as soon as he gets back hopefully and <laughs> who knows, we might even go for an adventure with him, maybe even go for an adventure with Lauren and the guys before Chrome gets back. Who knows what could happen, you know? Either way, I think it's going to be a blast uh, being here so far. It's been really cool. My nervous feeling is starting to leave me, not completely yet, that's why I feel like I need some more time by myself, so that's what I'm going to do, you know, I'm just going to kind of spend some time with me and get back to me and um, see where it takes us, you know, I'm going to take you guys along on the journey for as much as I can of it, and I uh, hope you guys all hang around, ooh, look at that old car, so many beautiful breaks around here you guys but yeah we're going to go park for the night right now and uh see what we can cook up for some supper look at that that's so cool it's like a bunch of sprinklers pretty fancy that fella's taking a shower hey man I can't say I haven't taken a shower on a sprinkler before either. <laughs> but we gotta do what we gotta do, you know? Alright, let's head and try and find somewhere where we can cook up and crash for the night. Cause it, it's been a pretty exciting night. Uh, we actually hung out with Lauren for quite some time. And it was really cool. Thank you brother for hanging out with us for that amount of time. He had a busy day as well, so I didn't want to take up too much of his time. But the time we did hang out together, it was so cool to talk about hunting, engines, and everything else. So I look forward to doing a bit more of that. 
the more we meet up and uh, yeah, we'll see how it all goes, you know? Ah, I see the sign. Nanaimo, this way. Hey guys, just pulled over and parked for a little bit. I really want to cook these eggs or at least see if they're good. I just Googled it and we're about to see if they're good or if they're bad. Watch this. That one looks good. She is not floating. If they float, it's bad. If it sinks, you're good. Now let's check the rest of them, guys. I just checked them all, and it looks like they're all good. But I did put a few back because I figured if they are good, then I don't need to cook them all kind of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'm going to put those guys back in the fridge for maybe tomorrow. I can scramble some up or boil up some more because I don't seem to have a frying pan. But who knows? Maybe we'll uh, make something different with them. I still have some moose, some vegetables, and some potatoes. So maybe we'll do a moose stew coming up soon. But for right now, I'm going to end this video off here, you guys. Thank you all for hanging in and joining me along on this adventure. I look forward to many more to come. And if you don't mind and you'd like to help support the channel, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, that will help bring us on many, many more adventures to come. And I hope, I hope to bring you guys all along on many more to come. You know, um, I don't have any intentions of slowing down on this channel. Only bring, bringing you guys more into my world and having you guys be a part of my life has been amazing. And I really enjoy that and I look forward to doing more of that. So yeah until next time remember never give up on living life because life is the most precious thing we have see you guys in the next one my mind run deep in my thoughts when i didn't have it sleeping on the floor wishing it was a mattress now i'm in hollywood with actors and actress where everybody bougie latest trends and fashions i'd rather keep it a buck a hundred if you ask